Hi everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. So today we're going to be doing some stamping. Um, it's been quite a while since I did like um what's it called foil stamping where is it so i'm going to be doing some foil stamping in this video um i'm going to be going over a few hints and like tips and tricks for stamping as well because um i do get a lot of questions like when i do like real quick stamping in some videos i get a lot of questions about it and i have got stamping videos like dedicated stamping videos on my vid um why do i keep saying video <laughs> on my channel but they were quite a while ago so instead of me keep having to say to everybody like, oh scroll back through my videos i just thought it'd make more sense to do a new one so i'm going to be using this product here um as well as moira's normal stamping polish which is this bottle on the left so this is just the normal one they do lots of different colors it's really really good stuff and then this one is a it's obviously black but it's a foil stamping gel so basically you stamp it as normal you obviously pick up your image with it um, pop it on the nail and then you put it in the lamp and then you can apply foil to it it's really really cool um, and we're going to use it to do some autumn nails this is the plate that I'm going to be using it's uh, really really beautiful there's lots on here different like leaves and stuff like that to use so I just thought I know it's not autumn technically but I love autumn nails so I just thought it'd be really cool to do some I'm also going to be doing a separate video after this one of this to see whether you can use this with pigments and chrome as well i just fancy giving that a go so we're going to try that in the next video but for this one we're going to do some autumn foil stamping so let's get straight into it so i'm just going to go over all of the products that i'm going to be using first just before we get started so i don't have to explain it all as i go so first of all my base color which is going to be a diamond glitters gel perfection color is called saffron and it's this beautiful autumnal deep brownie orange sort of colour and then we're also going to be using this foil which is from Tia's Beauty it's a beautiful orangey coppery sort of colour then obviously like I just showed you we've got the black normal stamping polish from Moira and then we've got the uh, foil black one from Moira this plate is from Nicole Diary and it's L14 you can get them from Amazon and eBay and then I'm also going to be using Real Birds Glamour Gel in number 14 because look at it it's the most autumnal thing I've ever seen in my life and I absolutely love it. It's beautiful. So we're going to have a couple of nails of that. So obviously because this video is mainly like aimed at the stamping side of it, I'm basically just going to do a load of stamping. And um, we're going to have two nails that are glittery and then we're going to have some stamped nails. So first of all, I'm going to do the glittery ones because I just want to be able to use this to be honest. And then obviously we can get it out of the way as well. Oh, and the stamper I'm using is the Moira Stamping Series... Um, which is obviously what everything says that they have for stamping, but it's this one and it's the Pixel. Uh, I have no idea. I'm really sorry, but I can't remember what it's called. And then I'm using a lint roller. I've actually lost my roller, which has got the handle on it. Um, so I'm just using one of the refills instead because I don't have time to find it because I need to get this video done because I'm going away for a couple of days and I need, I need some videos up for you to watch while I'm gone. So... I'm going to get, so I do recommend having like a designated brush to these, uh, what are they called? What are they called? What are they called? I've got totally blank. Oh, glamour gels. So I do recommend having a dedicated brush for them because they basically are an absolute nightmare to get out of brushes. Like they're beautiful, beautiful products, but getting them out of a brush is basically impossible. So... I definitely recommend having a separate brush for them. I like to use this one. It's just an old one. It's from Amazon. I had these in a really, like, in a really, really long time ago. I had them in a, um, a what's it called, uh, a haul. So you might have seen them if you've been around for a while. But if not, they are from Amazon. I think they're on my storefront. So if you do want to grab them. I think at the time of me buying them, obviously Amazon changes their pricing a lot, uh, depending on demand and all that sort of stuff. But when I first got them, I'm pretty sure they were only like £15 for like 15 brushes. There's a lot of brushes. I can't remember how many exactly, but it was a lot. It was really good value for money, basically. I don't remember how much it was, but they're very good value and actually very good brushes for the money. So definitely worth grabbing some. So I'm just putting a coat of this on obviously the white background is a bit of a pain it means i'm gonna to have to do probably an extra layer on top of what i'd usually do but it's not a problem 
So I've just done those two, which is absolutely beautiful. I just love it. Um, I'm going to pop those in the lamp now and then do another coat. I might do two more coats, but I'll figure it out in a minute. So here's the nails. I've applied two coats of everything. So we've got two coats of the Glamour Gel, two coats of the colour on each. I'm now just going to get a lint-free wipe and just wipe the tacky layer off all of the nails because obviously with foil stamping, um, because obviously we're going to be using foils, we don't really want a tacky layer on our gel because then the foil will stick to that. So you can definitely um, use, what am I trying to say? Velvet top coat as well. So instead of taking this tacky layer off, you can just go over with velvet top coat, making sure that obviously the whole nail is nice and matte and that there's not going to be any, what's it called, um, foil sticking to it. So first of all, I just want to talk about some real quick hints like about how to best stamp. So the problem is with stamping videos is obviously my light reflects the, the plate, which is really unhelpful. So first of all, um, actually applying, I can't get the light to not reflect unless I put it really far away. Right, we're just going to put the light over there for now. So we're going to apply some polish. I'm just going to show you some examples of what I mean. So first of all, we're going to do this one. So I've applied my polish. I'm now going to scrape really hard with the stamper with the scraper even. So I've just scraped really, really, really hard. And this is what we're picking up because I've scraped off all the polish. So let me just clean that and do it again. So that's scraping really hard. That is what will happen. So if we do this the other way around and we scrape really lightly and I just go over really quickly with it, this is what we're going to get. We've got lots of lines now and lots of excess polish that we don't need. So you almost need to find like the happy medium. You need to scrape enough to get the excess off, but not too much where you take off the actual image itself. Designs like this are pretty difficult to pick up anyway, because there's obviously a lot of uh, a lot of colour there. So basically, we're going to do it again. You want to scrape off. This scrape is really difficult to use. I probably shouldn't have used this one. But you want to scrape at a 45 degree angle. And then as you can see, we've got the image, but no extra in between the images, which is just what we're looking for. Um, so you've scraped off the excess from like above the image, not the indents, but obviously you've left the polish in the dents of the plate, if that makes any sense. So that's the first thing that you want to look out for is making sure that you are applying enough pressure but not too much to the actual plate itself. Um, sometimes if you apply too much pressure on the actual stamper itself when stamping it won't transfer. Um, sometimes it does though so that's it's a difficult one to like what's it called like to show. Use a different one this time just to mix it up a little bit. So I'm going to use these pumpkins, they're really cute. So I don't know whether it's going to work or not, but I will attempt to show you. So we've got some pumpkins on here. Oh, this is another thing. So if I leave this now for too long, so I'm just going to leave that here for a second. You can see that it's there. I'm then going to clean off my plate to make sure it's ready for the next time I use it and then clean off my scraper to make sure that that is also ready for the next one and then I'm going to come back to this and I'm going to apply it to this nail so as you can see I can get this back now because I just moved the plate so you can have a look a sec so as you can see here we've got bits here that have like sort of stuck to where they shouldn't have and stuff like that and that's because it's too dry on here if you try and apply it when it's too dry, it'll just, or it'll do what this is doing and just not stick at all. So I'm I'm putting it on there and applying pressure, wanting it to transfer, but it's not because it's already dried. So it's really, really tricky. So you need to make sure, like the main things are your pressure um, on the plate when picking up the, uh, what's it called? When picking up the image, that's the word I was looking for. So your pressure when you're picking up the image and the angle at which you pick it up, 90, a 45 degree angle is usually the perfect way to do it and will. So yeah, we're going to just get on with it because 
I'm losing the will to live and forgetting what I'm doing. So you need to make sure that you're using a 45 degree, ang degree angle to wipe off the excess polish. You also need to make sure that you are not really pushing this hard to pick it up. Just roll over the image and then obviously just roll the image straight away once you've got off any excess straight onto your nail before it has chance to disappear. Disappear? <laughs> dry that's what i was looking for so i'm gonna use some leaves i just haven't figured out which ones yet i think i'm gonna go i think i am gonna use the ones mm, i don't know <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing i probably should have like planned it out shouldn't i before i actually like got going with this video i think i am actually going to use the uh the little pumpkins because i think they're really cute so I'm going to go ahead and apply my polish again, but this time I'm using the gel because I want to do it in uh, foil. So this is obviously the foil gel stamping polish. This actually is quite difficult to use, I found. Um, that might just be me, but yeah, I have found it's not it's not the easiest product to to use because it is super super thin, and obviously because it doesn't dry just taking off all the excess now but because it doesn't dry as you're going like a normal stamping polish that's not a gel wood i actually find it a little bit more difficult to work with so i'm just taking off any pumpkins that are not like a full pumpkin because i'm obviously going to be doing a whole nail with these so i'm going to have to do a couple of goes but i will just show you the one and then do the other one off camera just so you're not watching me do the same thing over and over so i'm just taking off any product off here that i don't want on my nail so that'll do a thing i'm just gonna get that little line off there and that star okay so this is what is going to be going on my nail really cute i love it so i'm going to place it above the nail and look through look through the stamper at where i'd like it and then I'm just going to place that on the nail, making sure to put pressure on every part of the image so it all sticks. So this is what it looks like. We've got that bit at the top. Now, because this is a gel, obviously it's not going to set until I put it in the lamp. So instead of doing multiple parts like I usually would with stamping polish, I would usually just pick up some more now and place them there. But because this is a gel and I can't touch this area, I'm going to put that straight into the lamp. I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds and then when it comes out we can apply our foil to it and then I will apply the next lot and then do the foil again that way. So while that's in there I'm going to do the next one so this is all ready for us to use the foil on when it come, as and when it comes out of the lamp. So for this nail I'm going to use something a little bit different. I think I'm going to go with I don't know I quite like these but I also like those I think I'm going to try both of those so down here because the problem with this foil gel is obviously if the image is really really thin then it's really difficult to be able to see the foil so I'm going to do two different types of flowers with it we're going to, um, leaves even we're going to use this one you really do have to get the excess off with this one because as you can see look there is lines going through it I'm actually not really that bothered about them, so I'm just going to leave them there. Um, but yeah, it is one of those that you have to be a bit more careful with. And making sure you get rid of all the excess. So yeah, we're going to use these ones. And then we're also going to use some... Right, I'm going to go ahead with that because this is going to be another full nail of... Uh... Of what's it called? Of stamping anyway, so I can go ahead with this one. So my point was, I don't even remember what I was going on about because I just sidetracked myself. That's how quick I go off on one. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be using two different types of leaves because I want us to see the difference in how the, um, what's it called, looks. I can't remember what the hell I'm going on about already. It's been two seconds. I don't know what is wrong with my attention span today, but it's very, very, very short. So I'm going to show you the, leaf, the other leaves I'll be using. On the next nail so i'm going to pop this one in the lamp this is what it looks like it's very pretty the other one is now finished so we're going to take him out and have a look how he looks with some foil so this one has now got i'm going to move this 
this one second. This one's now got some pumpkins on, obviously. I'm just going to cut off some foil. And then we're just going to apply the foil on top of the pumpkins and just press down. Not too hard, don't really need to because it's obviously only a little bit on there. But we're just going to press down on top of those pumpkins. And look how amazing that is. If there's any bits that are still black, then obviously just go back over with your foil apply a bit of pressure but I put this in my lamp for 30 seconds just make sure that you have a play around with it because it might be different for everybody but I will put it in for another 30 now to make sure it's got a full cure but look at those pumpkins in that per that copper it's beautiful I just have to wriggle it around for you to see it because they're such thin lines so I will do the rest of that off camera um but then obviously this one has now come out that I've just put in so we're going to do these leaves as well I'm just putting some pressure on so it transfers over and then we can take that off look at those aren't they beautiful i love that even looks pretty on the uh on the foil look with the gaps in it <laughs> but yeah so you've got some leaves as well so i'll do the rest of both those nails off camera but that's what they look like i do think they are really really pretty i love that foil and then for this one we're going to go in with some thicker leaves so we're going to use these ones because I find that it might be a little bit easier for you to see them. So I'm going in with the black foil stamping gel. Scraping off the excess, scraping off the excess again just to be sure. The good thing about foil stamping gel or any stamping gel I assume, is that it'll be really fab to use if you're a new, like if you're a beginner with the stamping and you can't really do everything like really fast paced um, because that is the key to stamping as well is everything must be done super quick. But obviously with a stamping gel, it's not really such an issue to do everything really quickly because it's not going to cure or like set or anything on its own. You have to cure it. So I'm now going to apply these over the top of this nail. Can't see through it because it's black, but I can see it. So we're just going to pop that on the top. We're going to throw that in the lamp because this one's a bit thicker, so you can see the design a bit better. We're going to put that in the lamp for 30 seconds. I'm just going to finish off the other two while we're doing that. Okay, so this one is back out. So we're now just going to apply some foil to this one. It's going to get a little bit more because I've just accidentally got some gel on the other bit of foil. So I'm just going to, again, place it over the top. And then peel off. And then if there is any black bits still there, you can just go straight back over with the foil and make sure they're all covered. This foil is the perfect foil for autumn i can't wait to use it on some nails it's beautiful but yeah look at that isn't that gorgeous look oh it's magical i love it so i haven't actually finished um all three of the nails yet in fact i've only i've not actually finished one yet i've only just took this one out of the lamp i'm just gonna put some foil on the bottom half of this pumpkin one i love these pumpkins it's a really really cute autumn um what's it called stamping plate definitely recommend it for the autumn it's a bit autumn and halloween vibe with the uh i might even just leave them like that actually because i've i think i've uh covered quite a bit in this anyway of like tips and tricks but if there is anything else you need help with then do let me know obviously but look how cute they are this foil stamping gel is really really cool so good i really love that obviously you could use like more obvious colors that would show up a lot more but i wanted something really autumnal and i like like the deep rich nice those types of colors so yeah that is where i'm going to end this video i really hope it was helpful um so basically main things are make sure you're scraping at a 45 degree angle to take off the right amount of product if your stamper is not picking up the image it's probably because one the polish has dried on the plate because you've left it too long to pick it up um or two your you've not got enough polish in the image to be able to pick it up so you need to make sure that you're leaving enough on there and then 
if it's not transferring onto the nail when you get it to the nail it's probably dried because again you might have left it on the stand for too long um and yeah sometimes um i know my clear jelly stampons don't work great with a tacky layer whereas some of the ones do so i do tend to just remove the tacky layer it just makes it a bit easier just in case you do have one that doesn't work very well with it um and then obviously double top coat or base coat then top coat or just rubber top coat because it's nice and thick um i'm trying to think of other troubleshooting things that could go wrong with stamping I can't really think of any off the top of my head but if you do have any issues with it then please do leave them down below and I will get back to your comments ASAP. Um, but yeah hopefully that's helped troubleshoot if anyone's having some problems with stamping. If it didn't like I said then please do let me know of any problems that you're having and I will try my best to get back to you about them and hopefully help you fix them. But this is today's nails. I know you can just about see them and it probably would have been more useful if I'd have done it with different colours. But when it comes to doing my pigment one, which I said I'm going to do, um, I will do it on better colours for you to be able to actually see. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back soon with the next one. Bye!